server is putting this all on this first. Yeah. Okay, and then you're managing it basically. 여기 미국인들의 마음을 사로잡은 뜬금없는 물건이 있습니다. 아마 예상도 못 하셨을 것 같은데요. 미국의 미식 전문 채널에서 소개한 한국의 이것. 소식을 듣자마자 수많은 미국인들이 열광하며 달려갔다고 합니다. 영상으로 확인해 보시죠. So Korean barbecue in Atlanta has become a lot more popular, but this isn't any average Korean barbecue place. This is the place where you will be Instagramming and tweeting and tagging because it's not just a night out. This is an event. Let's get our barbecue on at Honey Pig. So look at this table. Absolutely incredible. Harold being on the team of Honey Pig, you make people happy all day long. Yeah, that's what we try to do here, and we're very happy to have you. How would you describe Korean barbecue? I mean, even for Korean people, I, this is not your typical every night spread for dinner. This is an event, a fun time out with the family. Let's talk about what's on the plate here. There's a kimchi, soybean sprouts, so we're going to grill those to serve with the meat. And on the table, there are various condiments. The cooking surface is a uh, cast iron lid. Back in the old days in Korea, people would store rice or condiments in big underground stone pots, and these lids covered them. In a pinch, they could double as a shield also, if your village ever got attacked. Okay, so there's a lot happening here. Now we just need the goods. The to meat's get coming. This going. All right, perfect timing. How's it going? Uh, here's Look at Andy. This. this is beautiful. Right here, what we have is going to be your first thing we're going to be putting on. And what this is is actually a beef brisket. That meat looks beautiful, and you you slice that all in house. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All our meat is freshly cut right from the start. So that was sliced today. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just two it's minutes. Sliced to order. Oh, I love that. Look at this, chef. How are you? This is pork belly. This is steak. Okay. I'm gonna cook something. That looks beautiful. And did you slice that up just now? Yeah. I love that. Very, very crisp, Lisa. Love it. So now if I'm just eating, if I come to dinner, mm -hmm. the server is putting this all on this first. Yeah. Okay, and then you're managing it, basically. Yeah, or the server can stay here and cook it for you. Okay. Yeah. Now that is a big stink. <laughs> so what is that seasoned with? This is uh, seasoned the uh, pepper and then uh, this sea salt, Hawaiian sea salt, that's it. That's it? Yeah. And so it's very simple. Yeah, very simple, but yeah. it's very, very good. Right, so the idea is you want to keep the meats very simple yeah. so you can add as much flavor as you want with all your condiments right. and your accoutrements here. Oh, that looks good. So that's nice to get that little, the crispiness on it makes right. it extra good. Yeah. Whoa, what is going on here? Garlic marinade pork belly. This is so good. Now that is sexy. Yes. <laughs> if you're gonna have a pork belly that's sexy, that is it. What an amazing meal. What an amazing night. There's so much meat to be discussed. But I want to talk about the song. Oh, it's the lettuce wraps. Talk to me about how you put it together, what are you putting in it, and why is there so much love behind it? I mean, it's pretty simple. You just grab a lettuce wrap. You know, a lot of people use the whole thing. I like to break it in half because it's too big sometimes. I like to grab the meat first. Okay. This, this is my surface. This is a little tangier. Right. You just get whatever you want in there, some vegetables. And then whenever you're ready, you just wrap it up a little nice and tight, and then you're ready to eat it. And what a lot of Korean people do, they like, they like to wrap it to feed their loved ones. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Please do that. Okay. I love that. And this is for you. Thank you. <laughs> See, and it's hard to eat the whole thing because it's so big. But Korean people, they just like to shove it in their mouth. For some reason, that did not look that romantic at that moment. Yeah, but <laughs> it's the fact that you're making food for your loved ones. That is. That's yeah. really good. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna make me eat it in one bite. You can, you can take two bites. And I like the scissors. You're just cutting everything up, making it simple. Now, do diners cut it up too? 
I'd be nervous to do that. I don't feel comfortable. I like Chef doing it for me. I mean, we, we do get some seasoned hands here who come to eat, and they've done it before, so they'll jump right in and cut it. But our servers are more than happy to do this for you. Do we have some show-offs who like to come in? I mean, they got skills, but not like Chef here. Ah. She, chef has outstanding knife skills. You look at this cooking, and it's it's... It's not hard to just go, wow. I think that's, is that what you guys try to do? I think there's totally a wow factor here. There is a wow factor, but I think more than that, this is about like, this is the communal uh, fire. You know, I think it speaks to really deeply ingrained uh, impulses that we have to share a meal, you know, with people that we care about. We're getting ready for the rice. Tell me about that process. So essentially, they bring out some fried rice and all of the flavors that of your, all your favorite meat just marinate into that rice. Oh, it's like the best part. What kind of meat did you have? So we, my favorite was the spicy pork. Definitely, that flavor I think is the best that goes with this, uh, the rice. Um, we had a lot of the brisket. We had squid, um, which goes really well. We had the intestines. Um, but definitely, when all those flavors just melt together with the rice, awesome ending. I mean, that is love and friendship right there at a plate. Are you going to serve it out to everybody, or everybody just goes for you it? Just dig in. Get in there. Yeah. So tell me, what are we drinking? I love that we're just, we're getting to know each other. We're already drinking together. Yeah, what Solmec is, is just soju and beer, and then soju is just rice liquor. When you do a toast, you say cheers, kombe. Yeah, we say kombe. Kombe. Yay! 미국인들의 유난스러운 고기 사랑은 잘 알려져 있지만 소뚜껑 삼겹살을 수출했다니. 영상을 보는 내내 경탄을 금치 못했는데요. 미국인들은 생소한 삼겹살 부위의 뛰어난 맛은 물론이고 김치와 콩나물 등을 함께 구워 먹는 방식에 깜짝 놀랐다고 하는데요. 실제로 영상에 나온 식당은 손님 85%가 미국인이고 주말에는 90%가 외국인으로 젊은 세대가 특히 많이 찾는다고 합니다. 소뚜껑 삼겹살의 존재가 입소문을 타고 퍼지자 하물며 미국 마블 스튜디오가 영화 이터널스의 포스터에 마저 소뚜껑 삼겹살을 등장시켰습니다. 포스터 속에는 10명의 이터널스 멤버들이 모두 히어로 스투가 아닌 한복을 입은 채 소뚜껑 주변에 둘러앉아 삼겹살을 구워먹는 모습인데요. 삼겹살 뿐만 아니라 잡채, 비빔밥, 떡, 약과 등의 한국 음식을 즐기는 모습이 담겨 있습니다. 한국화 일러스트레이터로 유명한 흑요석 작가가 그린 작품이라고 하죠. 이 포스터를 본 클로이 자오 감독은 마동석 배우가 가끔 우리를 코리안 바베큐 음식점에 데려가 줬다. 포스터를 보자마자 그때 추억이 떠올라 그 식당에 또갈 수밖에 없었다며 고백하기도 했는데요. 앞으로도 미국에서 한국 삼겹살 사랑, 소뚜껑 삼겹살의 인기는 계속될 것 같습니다. 오늘 이야기 어떻게 보셨나요? 재미있게 보셨다면 구독과 좋아요 부탁드리겠습니다. 감사합니다.